Thyroid nodules are very common and up to half of all people have at least one thyroid nodule, although most do not know about it. Reassuringly, approximately 95% of all thyroid nodules are caused by benign conditions. There are several tests to evaluate thyroid nodules. Thyroid stimulating hormone, also called TSH, is measured with a blood test. If the TSH level is normal, then thyroid ultrasound and fine needle aspiration biopsy, also called FNA, are done. Thyroid ultrasound should be performed in all patients with a suspected thyroid nodule or nodular goiter on physical examination, or with nodules incidentally noted on other tests. Fine needle aspiration uses a thin needle to remove small tissue samples from the thyroid nodule. This test is accurate in identifying cancer in a suspicious thyroid nodule. In some cases, the biopsy does not contain enough tissue to make a diagnosis. Surgery may be recommended for indeterminate nodules for a definite diagnosis. Low levels of TSH in the blood may indicate that a nodule is producing high levels of thyroid hormone. If the TSH level is lower than normal, the next step is to have a thyroid scan. A thyroid scan can help to determine if a thyroid nodule is autonomous, also called hot, or non-functional, also called cold. Thyroid nodules that absorb the radioiodine are usually not cancerous. They are called hot or toxic. Thyroid nodules that do not absorb the radioiodine are called cold and have a 5% risk of being cancerous. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should not have a thyroid scan. Following a thyroid scan, patients should take care to flush the toilet and wash their hands after urinating because the radioactive substance is eliminated in the urine. High levels of TSH may indicate autoimmune inflammation called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Thyroid nodule treatment depends upon the type of thyroid nodule that is found. Benign thyroid nodules can be monitored. If it grows, a repeat biopsy or surgery may be recommended. Some surgeons recommend excision of nodules over 4 cm or if the nodule is associated with difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, or hoarseness. Only approximately 5% of all thyroid nodules are malignant. Most patients with thyroid cancer have an excellent chance for cure or long-term survival. Thyroid cancers require surgical removal of the thyroid gland and sometimes one or more treatments with radioiodine followed by thyroid hormone. Autonomous or hot thyroid nodules are almost always benign but they can overproduce thyroid hormones leading to hyperthyroidism. If you have an autonomous nodule and high levels of thyroid hormone, you will usually be advised to undergo surgery to remove the thyroid nodule or to undergo radioactive iodine treatment to destroy the nodule. Long-term treatment with anti-thyroid drug methimazole is also an option, although methimazole cannot be taken during pregnancy. In young adults, autonomous nodule may be monitored over time. In older adults, radioactive iodine treatment or surgery may be recommended because high thyroid hormone levels pose a risk of an abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation and bone loss called osteoporosis. Cystic thyroid nodules are usually benign nodules that have filled with fluid. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. Be healthier!